Hi, Slayer people. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. So I picked these up at Lowe's the other day. Um, this is Liatris, also called Blazing Star. And there are 40 little um, corms in here. I think these are corms. I think they call them corms. Um, it does not say. So, but anyhow, I'm going to, some of them are starting to grow. So I'm going to pot up half of them because it says not to plant them outside until after danger of frost, which is still quite a ways away for me. But I'm going to um, plant some of these up. I'm going to do half of them in one inch gallon pots and then I will stick them out in my hoop house. Um, I might leave them in here for a little bit, but at some point they'll have to go to the hoop house because I'm out of room in here. I'm out of room. So anyhow... Let's get these open so we can take a look at them. So here's one already started. So I would probably call this a corm. So it's got like a flat side, lots of little roots, and then you can see on this one where the um, top is already sprouting out. So I'm going to put five in each gallon pot um, because the recommended spacing on here was um, five bulbs per square foot. So that's what we're going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure my potting mix is already moist and I've already got some water in here, but we're probably going to need a little more. Let me do this a little bit. Yeah, we need some more. Turn this down. So you see what I'm doing instead of looking at me. The big old stick in there. So normally when I pot up or when I start seeds I will I microwave and sterilize my mix but since I'm doing so much here and they're all going in the pots and hopefully soon they will go outside then I'm not going to sterilize it and keep my fingers crossed okay that looks that looks pretty good and then I'll water them a little bit more once I get the bulbs in there so I can make sure there's good soil contact. Okay. So the directions said they need to be, I believe it said six inches. Let's double check. Yeah, six inches. They like partial shade. Uh, bloom time is midsummer to fall. Height 29 to 35 inches, and the hardiness zone is 2 to 9. So these could really go outside right away because, especially in my hoop house, when you are like having things outside in pots, overwintering in pots, the um, you want to go two zones lower than yours. And these definitely will fill the bill for that. I'm going to push them way down in there, just like that. Hopefully they will all germinate or grow. We have growth on some of them there. And just top it off, just like that. Probably not enough potting mix in this container that I have. Let's see if we can. I don't know that depth is a big deal in these pots since they're going to end up getting planted out into the ground anyhow. That's, I don't know, that's probably four inches. Let me just go 
go ahead and cover them up. These are a perennial. They come back every year and they form clumps. They like to be clumped together. Well, I guess I did have enough. The other ones I'm going to, um, the ones that I have left, I'm going to store them in my basement stairway where it is cooler, much cooler than the house, and hopefully keep them from sprouting anymore. I'm going to get the soil will compact down a little bit more, and that'll leave me an inch. So, let's see if Let's see how their count was. So there's supposed to be 40 in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there was actually 23 there and I did 20 in the other pot so we're supposed to have 40 so we actually got 43 so I'm gonna put these back in here and this is vermiculite that this is in this bag it helps retain a little bit moisture now you see me use vermiculite before but it's a very very fine like tiny little pieces of sand and it comes different, you know, and it comes in different shapes. So, okay, so that's that. And again, this is Liatris, deer resistant. Um, these are beautiful. They make beautiful cut flowers also. So thanks for watching.